Happy 4th of July, everybody. Rupp Dad here, and today is weather forecast, a heat wave, and a 100% chance of Let's Play Final Fantasy X. <laughs> All right. In the last episode, we took care of a bunch of undersea stuff, started talking with Riku about something, now that we know her name, and now we're going to finish that conversation up. Thank God. You said... You play Blitzball? Uh-huh. You know, you should go to Luca. Someone might know who you are, or you might find someone you recognize. Luca? Ah. Uh. Huh. You're forgetting. Our hero is absolutely clueless. Don't get your hopes up too high on him, Riku. Okay, leave it to me. I'll get you to Luca. Promise. You'd rather stay here? Uh -uh. Don't make promises hey, you can't keep, others. little girl. Oh. And one thing. Don't tell anyone you're from Xanarkand, okay? Yevon says it's a holy place. You might upset someone. When did Albed ever care for Yevon? Oh. Not that our hero here knows what the hell Yevon is. What? You don't know what Yevon is? Blasphemy! Then yeah, whatever. So yes, happy for Xanarkand, some kind of holy place. Yeah, right. I thought. Thanks for the interruption. Since when? Since now. Yevon, Sin, Luca. I thought Sin just took me to a faraway place that I can go back in a day or two. But a thousand years into the future. That's not the text for internal no thought. Way. Yay for errors. You're a blitz ball player. You're not supposed to kick stuff that isn't a blitz ball, or else you could cause earthquakes. Or sin to appear. That works too. <laughs> uh, what, did this turn into a gymnastics boat or something? Guess who he's come for? Oh, that's a big wave. Wipe out. Bye, Albed. See you later. Maybe. Possibly? Oh, whatever. So, as our hero gets swallowed by a whirlpool, yes, uh, happy 4th of July to everyone. I hope you all are enjoying it. Yes, I want to save my game. I hope you all are enjoying your 4th of July. Those of you who, like me, have work off, enjoy the free day. Those of you who don't have work off on this day, I'm sorry for you. But, hopefully you get fireworks displays in the evening. So, hopefully that works out. And anyone who is not from America who's watching this, yeah, you can just ignore my holiday ramblings, I guess, because you probably are getting annoyed by it. And for that, I apologize. I apologize! Jeez! Look, I'm sorry for talking about the 4th of July on the 4th of July, but that's no reason to hit me! Hey! You okay? Oh, this guy. Hey! Oh, God, that sounded stupid. I feel ashamed. And apparently this is a good time to flaunt our Blitzball skills. What are ya? A demented Santa Claus? So yes, now that we're back in control, let's swim up on shore and check out who these weird looking characters are. Da 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 da. Gotta love the music. Again. Try that move one more time. Why not? Finally, things were starting to look up. Since my character loves showing off so much, why not? Let's do it one more time. 
as we are not in the water, so this does not make any sense, but whatever. Let's part the sea with a blitz ball! You know, amateur, who you play for? The Xanarkin Aves. <laughs> Remember what Riku said. What team you say again? Uh, I meant... forget that. Uh, I got too, uh, close to sin, and my head's all foggy-like. So, uh, I don't know where this place is, or even where I came from. Don't sound so, so, so dejected. Yeah. Praise be to Yevon. More about this Yevon stuff. Hopefully we'll learn about it soon, cuz... Alright, back to practice. I'm Waka, coach and captain of the Besaid Oryx, brother. Yes, this is Waka. What? You hungry? Okay, back to the village. I get you some. A lot of people seem to like Waka, mostly because, probably just because he talks funny or whatever. I don't know. I felt like I could trust this Waka, so I just had to ask. Um, it's true, Xanarkin was destroyed, right? A thousand years ago. So it's just a big pile of rubble now, isn't it? Long time ago, there were a whole lot of cities in Spain. Whole lot of cities. Big cities with machina, machines to run them. People played all day and let the machina do the work. Sounds like to the and modern then, day. Well, take a look. Sin came and destroyed the machina cities. And Xanarkand along with them. Yeah, that was about a thousand years ago. Just like you said. Joy. If you ask me, sin's our punishment for letting things get out of hand. What gets me though? Is we gotta suffer because of what some goofballs did way back when. Goofballs. Of course, we must always repent really? for our sins. That's important. It's just that it's hard to keep at it sometimes, you know? It was just as Riku said. Waka and Riku couldn't both be lying. Why would they? Because no one likes you. <laughs> <laughs> what is with that laugh? That was a good one, huh? Get off me. Hey, I'm not saying that team never existed, yeah? <laughs> but you gotta figure, a team living in luxury like that be pretty soft, eh? I appreciated the fact that Waka was trying to cheer me up. But at that time, all I could think about was... Everything that happened to me. All this started with Sin. Maybe if I could find Sin one more time, I could go home. Wishful thinking. For now, i just live life until that time came. No more worrying about where or when I was. Sure, it was hard not to think of home. But I started to feel better already. Good for you. A little better. Maybe. So, yes. True origins of Sin, though. They will be revealed much later, and I can say this much. Walk is dead wrong. But we'll deal with that when we get to the... Get, yeah. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Let's put it that way. Hey, it's this way. But what about that way? Nope, oh, fine. You're the one who knows this island. Stop running into the cliff, please. Join walk on the edge of a cliff. A lot of cliffs around here. Wait, no, no. What are you? Ah! You bastard. What's the big idea? Well, then again, this water is pretty refreshing, and admittedly, it is hot as hell over here. At least where I am, anyway. So yeah, we're just gonna lazily float along this river. I know the arrow is pointing up, but there's a path we have to follow to get to that point, so we'll just follow the river. And occasionally run into random encounters with, guess who? Yay, more Perantas! I thought we were done with these things, but yes. Here we have Waka, who uses a Blitzball as a weapon, which is pretty nice, I guess. It is a ranged attack, which comes in handy at times, and... Okay, that was a little weird. Waka's hair looked like it was glitching for a sec there on my TV screen. I don't know if you can see it in the recording or not, but... Or maybe this heat is starting to get to me. Which actually reminds me! I should probably use up those two sphere levels that I have for... 
rub that. Yeah. Controller. There we go. Use ability sphere to learn cheer. Use power sphere to increase my defense. And exit. Yeah, I was looking back at the recording as we get into another random encounter here. I was looking back at the recording I did for the last episode and realized, huh, I've got two sphere levels. Why am I not using them? So that takes care of that. As we get three groups of piranhas here that are going to try and chew the hell out of us. Die. I said die, damn it. When I say ghost, this is my let's play. When I tell you to die, you die. Got it? Uh, whatever. Let's just keep moving. Realistically, later today, I probably should go swimming or something, because it, it honestly is hot over here, and... I do not fare well in heat. I, th I guess that's mostly just because I was... I was born up in uh, January, so I'm more of a winter baby, so I'm more accustomed to cold, ice, snow, and stuff, and Let me get off me. Got a favor to ask you. A favor. You want me on your team, right? Hmm? There you go. I'm part of the Besaidorax now. So quit climbing all over me like a damn monkey. A major blitz tournaments coming up. All the teams in Spira will be there. It's so huge. I'm sure someone there will recognize you. Joy. Then you can go back to your old team, right? Wishful thinking. It'll be fun. What do you say, huh? Come on, come on. Just shut up and let me float on the water. Sure thing. See, even he sounds bored of it. <laughs> Our team is gonna rock, eh? So Waka is Canadian now. <sighs> Whatever. I thought then that Blitzball and Sin were the only two things that Spira and Xanarkin had in common. I wasn't too far off either. Good for you. As we are on land now, randomly. Seriously. How the hell did we get on land? I thought we saw a lot of water. I started Blitz when I was five. I joined the Aurochs at 13, 10 years ago. 10 years. And we never won a game. Well, after last year's tournament, I quit. Time seemed right. That's kind of sad if your team hasn't won a game in 10 years. So, after quitting, I got this new job, yeah? But every time my mind wandered, I thought about the game. It's called real life. Ten years without a single win will do that. Hmm. My first match last year was my big chance. But something else was on my mind. I couldn't focus. Nice excuse. Hey, hey! So, you want to win the next tournament? Go out with a bang. Why not? So, what's our goal? I don't care how we do, as long as we play our best. That's stupid. If we give it our all, I can walk away happy. Uh, Good no, philosophy, no, no, but no. not to him. If I say, what's our goal? You say, victory! Yay, victory. When you play in a Blitzball tournament, you play to win. Victory? You're serious? You would think he would have thought of that a long time ago, but... I guess he's one of those guys that just loves playing so much that it doesn't matter as long as he's doing well. I guess I'm like that too, although victory would always be nice. Ah, the one from the sea. I'm not a fish. Be on guard. There are fiends on the road today. I have a name, you know. You're running with sin it would be a shame if something happened now. So, who are they? Luzu and Gata. Crusaders. Huh? Cruise of what? What? You forgot that too? Cut me some slack. Hey, okay, sorry. Don't worry about it. I'll help you out. You better. Cool. In return, come tournament time, I'll make sure we take the cup. Cool. <laughs> about the Crusaders, you can ask them yourself. They got a lodge in their village. How come they get a lodge? I want a lodge. 
whatever. Let's just head in here and welcome to the village of Besaid. I said, welcome to the village of Besaid. Besaid village. Thank Have you. Got any food there? <laughs> we'll get you something over there later. Take a look around first. Always whining about food. Let's see. The Crusaders Lodge is over yonder. Luzu and Gata are usually there. Yonder. Hmm. All right. Over here. Huh? What's up? What do you want to show me, Waka? Do remember the prayer, right? Now, it doesn't matter which option you pick, because I mean they're both negative options anyway. But he'll show it to I you didn't regardless. Know it in the first place, so to tell the truth. Man, that's like the basics of the basics. All right, I'll show you. Yes, show us. What is this prayer of yours? That's a prayer. Go ahead, you try. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. That's a really interesting prayer, I gotta say. And I've seen many v forms of prayer. I guess that's what happens when you have so much free time you can look up random stuff on the internet, I guess. Hey, not bad. Not bad. I did just what you did. Hey, now, go present yourself to the temple summoner. Any Blitzball player would know that prayer. It was the Blitzball sign for victory. And you forgot it anyway. Go you. You are hopeless. You know that, Titus? Hopeless. Ah. Out of the way so we can go in here and talk to these crusaders. Now tell me about hey, yourselves. You. you were attacked by Sin, right? Recently was Again, I, I so. have a name. So, Sin can't be far, right? You're not hiding anything, are you? Why would I? If Sin's nearby, it'll attack the island for sure. Good to know. But it hasn't. I wonder why. Maybe because it doesn't care I'm about sorry. this island? I really don't know anything. To tell the truth, I uh, don't even know what the Crusaders are. You're kidding, right? Sin, the toxin. Gotta tell him who we are. Yes. Yes, sir. Tell me, the now. The Crusaders are sworn to battle Sin. We have chapters throughout Spira, accepting all who wish to join our struggle. Just a struggle? The hero Meehan formed the Crusaders 800 years ago as the Crimson Blades. Yeah. Later, our ranks grew and we called ourselves the Crusaders. We've been fighting sin ever since. Boring. What? You've been fighting 800 years and you still haven't beat it? Good point. Uh, uh, uh. Well, we've steered sin away from towns many times. And that's all we can do. Nobody's ever been able to defeat it. Our mission as crusaders is to protect the temples, towns, villages, and people of Spira. Sounds noble, so, but... whose job is it to defeat Sin? Is Sin's toxin really this bad, sir? It does seem rather bad. We could just tell you, but I think it better for you to try and remember... Try and remember something we don't even know in the first place. Perhaps Yevon will... Right, because everyone knows that works. So yes, we have a save point and some beds we can rest up in if we want to pay money to stay at the inn. But I don't think I need to save right now. I mean, I just saved like, what, five minutes ago or so? Wait, um, let me think for a sec. Some, no. Yay, I'm wandering around... Point. Thank you for the interruption. There it is. Jeez, my memory is the one that's foggy. Good lord. Hello, Waka. Go present yourself to the temple summer before we eat, yeah? Fine. Even though I'm f starving. I guess I'll starve even longer just because I have to go pray, see this summoner, etc., etc., etc. Hmm. Could have sworn there was a treasure chest around here somewhere. Eh. I think this heat's getting to me. I'm I'm delusional. 
Yeah, playing a video game and doing a Let's Play while delusional. That's always a good thing, right? Or maybe I'm also in the holiday spirit. I mean, it is the 4th of July. And there I go talking about the 4th of July again. This is a really interesting place of worship. It was then, standing in that place. Yes. Go on. Finish your thought. I began to realize how different this world was from my own. Congratulations. You realized something that we realized, what, an hour ago? If you total up all my video time or whatever? That's a nice looking statue. Ten years have passed <laughs> since Lord Brasca became High Summoner. And finally, we receive a statue for our temple. Took you long enough. Well, what's a High Summoner? <gasps> Heathen! Burn the witch! Uh, uh, I, I got too close to Sin's uh, toxin. Keep using that as an excuse. It works. I think. It was funny hearing myself make the same excuse over and over. Funny, and a little sad. The summoners huh. are nice to know he realizes it. Sacred art. So we get more boring explanation yet. stuff. Only a chosen few become While summoners. still not really making Call too much progress. Power, the Aeons. The Aeons hear our prayers and come down to us. They are the blessing of Yevon. Meh. So what he meant was that we should respect some kind of great men or something like that, I figured. That's the gist of it, yeah. If you really want to look at it that way. Pray hard and the toxin will release its grip upon you. Tch. So we can't go in there. And I think we should just leave. This temple's making me feel real uncomfortable. So our food should be done, so let's go check in with Waka. Come on, Waka, where's my food? Sorry, man. No time for lunch. Come on! Take a nap. You look pushed. Fine. You have to take a nap to advance the story anyway, so I might as well just get it over with. Even though realistically I think we're more hungry than tired, but you could at least go see how they are doing. You can't interfere. It's a rule. But it's been nearly I like how this happens, and we're supposedly sleeping. Good to know. And now we've got it's been a dream sequence. It's been nearly a day already. Perhaps you could go look for us. People are searching for him now. Him who? Someone I'm supposed to care about? Harsh, but little me. Fine, let it. Wow, this kid has no heart. You hate him so? I didn't know heartless existed he in this does. game. You'll never be able to tell him how much you hate him. <laughs> yeah, that's a real encouraging thought. Tell your kid to hope his father's still alive so he, you can tell him how much you hate him. Great parenting skills there, Mom. <gasps> Yeah. Waka? Screw Waka, where's the food? Eh, whatever. I know where Waka is, so... Even though I just said we were going to leave it because it was creeping me out... Here we go, back into the temple. You know, I don't know why, but... Probably just because I watched the show a lot as a kid, but whenever I think of the word temple... The first thing my mind always wrong? goes to the summoner hasn't returned from the trial. More talking. Huh? Well, apprentice summoner really. Blah blah blah. Huh? There's a room in there called the Cloister of Trials. Cloister. Beyond is where the apprentice summoner prays. If the prayer is heard, 
the apprentice becomes a fully fledged summoner. Remember? No, because I'm not Valid. from this so place. So someone's in there somewhere, and they haven't come back out. Right, I got it. A day's already gone by. So? Is it particularly dangerous in there? Sometimes, yes. Why don't you go in and help? There's already guardians in there. Besides, it's forbidden. Ooh, forbidden. Spooky. Hey, but what if something happens? What if the summoner dies? The precepts must be obeyed. Like I care. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Being a rebel. Because that's always fun. But yeah, now we get into the cloister of trials and... Maybe this wasn't such a good idea after all. <laughs> no kidding. These things can get really freaking tedious later in the game. Luckily, this one's fairly easy. Let's check out this cliff. But yeah, back to my thought. Um, I don't know why, but whenever I hear the word temple, the first thing my mind usually goes to is... That old show that used to be on Nickelodeon, uh, what was it? Legends of the Hidden Temple. I loved that show as a kid. Yes, let's touch the glyph. Yeah, that show always fascinated me, just because, I mean, it's a fun little game show for kids. You get to learn about history, which didn't really interest me, but... Let's use the sphere to go any farther. And it's going to explain to us about the different spheres. Glyph spheres open the way to the Chamber of the Faith. Structures open the way to hidden treasure. Besides spheres are necessary for this temple. So let's go ahead and take this sphere that's in here. Which is... A glyph sphere. And you can carry only one sphere at a time. Whatever. So we go down here, find this door. And we put the glyph sphere in. But yeah, I mean, it just seemed like a really fun game show. Plus I really liked how they did, um... What's-his-face? The, uh... The giant stone face. God, I cannot remember his name. Okay, now I know what to do here, but there's something else I'm kind of looking for right now. And it's for something later in the game. So we have this besaid sphere here, and we are going to take it. Now, you're supposed to put it in here, but let's see what happens when we put it in here. Nothing. Uh, fuzzy memories of the Cloister Trials already. Wonderful. <laughs> and this is the very first one, too. That's the sad thing. Yeah, this is really sad. I am not gonna lie. Again, you're supposed to put it in there, but I know there's somewhere around here. Oh, fine, let's put the sphere in here. So this wall disappears. We push this stone pedestal forward. Yes, we need to move it into the proper place. We can stop, stop on, step on that, yeah, step on that shiny glyph in the back to get it back to normal. But there's something else I need to find, and at this point, I'm probably gonna cut away until I figure out. Oh wait, I can take this glyph sphere. Why the hell did I not think of that earlier? God, I'm stupid sometimes. Never mind, I don't need to cut away. I think I found it. So open this up, and here is a destruction sphere. So what do we do with this destruction sphere, you ask? We put it into this little uh, glyph web thing. It is going to act like a fuse. Go over to that wall over there, and... Kaboom! There goes the wall. These destruction spheres and the treasures they collect, they uh, offer to you. They are not required to beat the temple. Rod of Wisdom, that'll come in handy for later. Yes, we can attain hidden items with them. I think, barring one of the temples, which I will point out when we get to it, 
Um, the destruction spheres are not required to beat to um, clear the cloister of trials, but it is really good to get them because they will open up something very viable to you later in the g much later in the game. Hey, it's okay. Only summoners, apprentice summoners, and their guardians can enter here. So what does that make me? It's a tradition, very important. Uh, so what about you? Yeah. <laughs> me? I'm a guardian. I like how he's telling us this, and a guardian. We are to guardian, summoner, apprentice, summoner, or anything. Whoa, whoa, ah. Relax, it's just an elevator. Chill the hell out. Guardians protect them. The guardians in there now. One of them's got a sure fuse, and who knows what the other's thinking. Good to know. Well, now that we come this far, sounds like me splitting too sometimes. Might as well go all the way. Short fuse. No one knows what I'm thinking. So yes, we walk in here, walk up by our side, and. What are you doing here? Didn't think we'd be able to handle it. No, it's, uh, it's just... Who's this lady? You she gets mad easy. <laughs> Way to try and stereotype on women, Waka. I is the summoner all right? <sighs> Who are you? Question of the day, apparently. So, yes, that door up there is going to... Waiting, waiting, waiting... Open! There we go. And out comes the summoner! And contrary to popular belief, not all summoners are... Old men who are skilled in magic and such whatnot. But no, we find this chick who our hero's gonna find quite attractive. Now for an iconic line that was used in the Final Fantasy X commercials. Cue the line. I remember whenever I saw the commercial, the old commercial for Final Fantasy X when it was about to come out, hearing that in the commercial and just repeating it over and over again, I don't know why, I just did. But they always make that line stand out, because I mean, you hear the echo in everything. And here I was thinking summoners were all old geezers. <laughs> there you go with the stereotyping again. As the chick is going to walk off. Yes. Put my transgressions aside. Right. Because I'm apparently a heathen in the eyes of this Yevin, whatever it is. Tuh. <laughs> so... We have to go forward, but... Hey, over here. I guess I can carry this on a little longer, I guess. I got nothing else to do today, so... <laughs> It is the 4th of July. Wait till you see this. Yeah, way to shove people out of the way, Waka. Ready. Okay. So now we're going to get this impressive little scene as our first Aeon is summoned. Oops, spoilers by a few seconds. My apologies. That's a very nice uh, staff you got there. You know how to use it? Apparently you do! <laughs> uh, failed attempts at sexual innuendos for the win. And yes, this is our first Aeon soaring fr out from the heavens. Oh, it's a bird. 
Come on, don't be afraid. Birds don't bite. At least hopefully this one doesn't. Nope, we're good. So she's just gonna ruffle its feathers a bit. Not in the not in the bad way. Everyone's gonna cheer, be amazed and everything. And I'm probably gonna end this off as soon as this cutscene's over because anything like it in my life. We're going sure, a little long. It was a little scary, but still. Well, come on, you're afraid of I that feel pussy. A strange kind of gentleness coming from it. You can feel that and you're just some average Joe. Wow. Aren't you special? So yes, now we can name this thing. But uh, do I want to leave it? Uh, you know what? Screw it. I'll just leave it at Val Four. That night, we talked for the first time. I didn't know it then, but after that night, everything changed. Well, aren't you for special? Everyone. For me. Yes, because it's also revolve around you. Because this is your story. Blah blah blah. As we get more cutscene stuff. Let me introduce you to the team. This I don't want to meet him. Wants into the tournament so bad, I let him on the team. His memory's a little fuzzy, so don't mind him if he says anything odd. Gee, Come on, say thanks. Hi. Makes me sound like I'm a freak of nature or something. Uh, hi guys. He sounds nervous. I can relate. So what's our goal? To do our best. Nah. Nope. We got a new goal. Now. Out with the old, in with the our new. new goal is victory. Yeah. To win you hear match. that? Defeat victory. Every opposing team to bring the Crystal Cup back to our island. That's all we need to do to win. Easy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You make it sound easy. As they just randomly mutter and stuff. Victory! 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 Oh, oh hello there! Uh, I'm sorry, what, was, what were we talking about? I got distracted. So... Well, I can't save for a little bit still, so I might as well just keep going, wrap this up. This is gonna be a really long episode, which I'm starting to regret now, but... Stay away from the summoner! You're a bad man! Jeez. Lady Yuna, be careful. Okay, I get it. It was really my fault to begin with. I'm a heathen, I'm bad. Blah blah blah. Just let the I'm chick Yuna. talk with me. Thank you so much for your help earlier. Well now we got a name for her. Uh I'm sorry about that. Oh. Wasn't that wasn't I not supposed to guess I kinda overreacted. I can relate. Oh no. I was overconfident. I can relate to that too. Strange. Um, I saw that Aeon thing. That's amazing. Uh, really? Do you think I can become High Summoner? Whatever encourages you, since we are still clueless hey, as Yuna, hell. Come play with me some more. Go away, kid. Anything to pull her away from the heathen, of course. So. Tomorrow, then. Tomorrow? We're going on the same boat, aren't we? Oh, really? <laughs> I like how he doesn't know that. Talk more. Huh. Wow, you are really clueless. You can tell me all about Xanarkin. I just realized... She's cute, yeah? Yeah, well... Yeah. Don't get no ideas. No promises there, big guy. <laughs> hey, but what if Ladies, she man. comes on to me? That's not going to happen. Says who? If you get tired, let me know. I had a bed made for you. So, you know what? Despite the fact I still can't save for a little bit longer, I'm going to cut this here and just record the rest of it and probably deal with it later. So, next time on Final Fantasy X, hopefully we will be leaving on this boat and going to wherever it is that boat's taking us, I guess. See you guys next time.